And if you like these kind <sighs> Hi friends, welcome back. So this is very new for me. As you can see, I have a microphone standing right next to me. I'm still figuring this thing out and I had a microphone stand to be really professional and have it like dangling above me somewhere or near my face but then i found out that it was not compatible with the microphone that i got that happened but i still was all prepped and ready to go for this video so i really wanted to film it for you guys so i hope the audio is going to be okay and boy do i have an amazing video for you today because i have treated myself to two items from bradford exchange i did not open these boxes so i have no idea how they look and i am just very excited to take my first look with you guys and review these items and if you like this kind of content then definitely click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again let's get unboxing before we dive into these items, let's first talk a little bit about Bradford Exchange. They Hi there, future me editing. I have such a huge stain on my shirt. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. I'm so sorry. I need to wash my clothes more often are this amazing shop with a lot of different products you can kind of compare them to the noble collection but they have less fandoms so they focus mainly on disney star wars harry potter items a lot of figurines everything is handmade and it all looks like great quality so when i saw that they were also doing harry potter items i had to buy something from their shop but they are very very expensive for the two items that i'm going to unbox with you guys i forgot how much money i spent it's almost 400 euros but luckily they had this system where you can just do like a quarterly payment so you can see these two items as my personal christmas presents that i gifted to moi let's just start with item number one but before i do i want to say thank you to my patrons because you guys are amazing thank you so much for your help and if you feel like it is something for you come join us over at patreon.com type in my name or you can click on the link in my description you might have noticed that there's an empty space on my quitted shelf i've always wanted a snitch i've seen a lot of different ones and the only one that i really liked was the one from pottery barn which was actually a clock but then Pottery Barn does not do worldwide shipping. And then I went to the website of Bradford Exchange and I found a levitating snitch. I think it's kind of a magnetic thing, but you have this base and then on top of it, there is an actual flying snitch. It looks so good on the pictures. So let's open this baby up. So this is not a reminder of how much I spent because I don't want it. And what is this? Oh, that's cool. So I have a limited edition number. It is hereby certified that this collectible is an authentic original in the limited edition of Harry Potter levitating golden snitch they only did 29 casting days oh no wait 295 <laughs> okay don't feel that special <laughs> that's so cool okay i'm definitely gonna hang on to this certificate of authenticity <gasps> you guys look at what i'm seeing look at that i feel like crying this looks absolutely beautiful i mean look at that and the wings so much detail okay so that's insane let's let's put the snitch over there and we have got this little platform and then the base this is actually bigger than i thought oh this is pretty as well i'm a little bit disappointed to see that these are stickers the middle part isn't but the outer ones are stickers that they actually put on there i mean for that money you could have done a little bit better than just regular stickers it's probably more about the levitating snitch than this one but but still and the number that was on my certificate is also on the bottom and the final part probably the most important part because without this 
it isn't gonna fly. Let's take a look at the instructions. Okay, so here's the adapter. The light is blinking, and then switch it on. Oh, right. There's a light. We put this little thing on there. It's a launcher. Then carefully place it in the ca Ooh! Gosh, that has some magnetic force. How can you carefully place this? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's actually levitating. Let me show you guys. Honestly, that is freaking amazing. <laughs> this is gonna look so cool. I'm just a little bit confused if I need to always have the adapter. I hope it doesn't need an adapter because that way you will not be able to display it in your bookcase and that's kind of the point of these collector's items. But oh my gosh, this looks so freaking amazing. <laughs> the snitch itself looks so good i'm just a little bit disappointed about the the base that it's on i'm not a fan of the color and again these are stickers i'm spending a lot of money here you could have easily just left them out or engraved something in there so i'm not entirely sure if i'm gonna leave them on there or just peel them off but that snitch damn this is like toys for adults a levitating snitch. Okay, so I need to turn it off now. It said you first have to grab the snitch. I caught the snitch. <laughs> Was this worth the money? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's a levitating snitch, you guys. And it's a limited edition. How cool is that? I'm gonna take very good care of it. Maybe I can sell it when I'm a, like an old grandma and I want to give my grandkids something and then I can sell my levitating snitch or give it to them so they can sell it or be Harry Potter collectors like me. Anyways, let's move on to the second item from Bradford Exchange. And this one is a little bit heavier and comes in a bigger box. It's made in China, apparently. I'm gonna put this box down because it's heavy. And I'm gonna grab the item. It's a Hogwarts lamp. This is the top. So the inside looks like the Marauders map. And then the outside has this gold color. Let's put that aside for now. I found another certificate of authenticity. And for this, I got the number 6477. It's again, a limited edition, the Hogwarts castle lamp. <laughs> oh man, this looks really awesome. I have absolutely nothing in my collection that represents Hogwarts Castle and I've always wanted a miniature version of it and I thought this was the perfect way to do it because it's also a practical item. So they did part of the Black Lake, the castle with the Great Hall, the Astronomy Tower. All the roofs are gray and the towers themselves brown. There's loads of details like you can see the separate bricks. There's also a little bit of green above the rocks. The entrances and some of the windows are actually actual holes. I was wondering what that thing was at the bottom, but apparently you can put another little ball beneath the lamp and then the castle lights up. That's adorable. I like it. It looks really good and I can't wait to see how it looks when it's all put together.
I'm still paying for the lamp, by the way. I think I got like one payment left and then the entire lamp is mine. I can definitely say that Bradford Exchange is something for collectors. If you want to have a limited edition of something, then this is definitely still kind of affordable and they do look good. And I just can't get over the fact that I have something that actually levitates. And also the lamp, it's just something that I really wanted. I don't have anything to represent Hogwarts Castle, which is such an iconic place. And now I have, and it's also a beautiful lamp. There are some downsides to Bradford Exchange. When I compare it to the Noble Collection, most of the items from Noble Collection are flawless. There's nothing wrong with them. There are no scratches. And on these products, there are. There are little scratches. There are some sloppy paintwork when you look really close. There's the stickers on the levitating snitch base. It's just all these little things that for this amount of money, you would expect that it's a little bit better, especially because these are limited items. But I suspect that these items have been standing there for a while. Not the levitating snitch, but I do think that the Hogwarts lamb was just eating dust because apparently they started making them in 2018. So I feel like this is just a very old Hogwarts lamp, which adds to the aesthetic. But still, I would like to see my product flawless, especially for these kind of prices. So I don't know if that's just me or my items, or if that's something that other people experience with Bradford Exchange as well. So if you have the same opinion or a different opinion, definitely leave them in the comments so we can help each other out. But overall, I am really happy. I have treated myself. I've given myself some extra Christmas presents or birthday presents or whatever you want to call them. And it gave me joy. And I am going to hang on to these items for a very, very long time. So the levitating snitch is gonna go over there and the Hogwarts lamp, not sure. Maybe I'm gonna put it in the corner over there. Look, I have like a little corner there with my pin manners above it. So maybe, maybe I'll put it there. Don't know yet. And that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.